It's 10 past 9 a.m. on a Tuesday and I just dropped off my child at school. And I want to talk about something I saw today because it was very stressful and yeah, I wanted to talk about it like as soon as I got home because I wanted to feel the emotions that I'm feeling as I talk about it. In front of uh, me and my child was a mother and her child and this boy was probably five years old extremely stressed and distressed screaming crying face is dirty um, and he's very very angry and he's talking in a way that is not um, matching of what I at least envision for a four or five year old child. And I can compare that to how my child speaks, even when upset. This child was, was angry and he was behaving in ways that are not appropriate, cognitively speaking, um, of a child of his age. And as I was observing this, I was observing my child's reaction and he was both concerned and obviously, as it goes with five-year-old children, also minding his own business. And I was very concerned for th that kid because I couldn't understand, and that's why I wanted to make this video. I couldn't understand what was so difficult For this, why it was so difficult for this mother to just soothe her child? I, I just couldn't wrap my, hand, my head around it. Yes, children do need discipline, of course. They need it, they crave it. I've talked about this a lot. They seek that guidance. That's why they push the boundaries, because they need to trust you to establish a, a, a perimeter of, of safety. And that comes through the form of discipline. That's how we establish their own circle of freedom. But that can be done kindly. Even when we are being quote-unquote tough, that toughness can be kind. What this mother was doing was, A, ignoring her child, she kept looking away, and then would just yank at this kid's arm, you know, so he would get back in line. As he was, there was a cue to go into school. So the, ch the child would cry more and scream more and then smack her and bite her. It was, it was completely... It was very difficult to watch and to listen to that. Um, so I just wanted to share some thoughts on this. Um, we, we should all protect our kids from themselves, really. As we, as adults, we, we need people to protect us from ourselves and from each other. But that stems from the need for, for protection from ourselves. That's why then we need to learn how to inter interact with each other. This child was behaving using wildlife rules. And that's basically a human being that is now running out of time to integrate. And that's concerning. All that child needed, and only I know how difficult it was to not say anything, not intervene, and not in a, in a disciplinarian way towards the parent, but just hold that kid and tell him, like, yeah, I know, I know you're frustrated, 
let's let's negotiate better ways to 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 express that and you might be thinking that that's unreasonable to ask from a five-year-old kid it's not or even a four-year-old or even a three-year-old it doesn't really matter how young they are you might need to adjust the language but the ability for them to negotiate their their need for expression it is there from day one. All we need to do is to guide them through that process. I do that with my child on a daily basis. I say to him all the time, it's perfectly okay to make mistakes as long as we learn from them and to walk away from them. And we learn how to avoid them. And that's teaching them both coping mechanisms, problem solving, and how to express themselves uh, when under frustration and, and pressure. Grunting and biting and kicking is creating more problems, not less. So if, if you're a parent and you struggle with keeping the boundaries between discipline and punishment well separated, just think about how you would like to be treated. Sometimes under stress, it's difficult to be empathetic and I appreciate that. So go narcissist. Think about how you would like to be treated and then just selfishly do that to other people so they do it back to you. Eventually, you will start to actually feel empathy for other people and that um, egoic approach can sort of go away and hopefully it will but hey whatever works if your child is stressed out and angry and lashing out at you don't lash out back that just feeds the cycle hug them let them cry into your shoulder instead of away of trying to run away from you let them release all of that right there as you pat them on the back and you take a really deep breath and then you guide both of you through the process of coming back or coming out of that state. They are more empathetic than you think. They are more capable of listening than you think. They are more capable of recognizing their mistakes than you think. Your child will not just say, I'm sorry, because that gets them out of trouble. Your child will learn to say sorry genuinely. Give your kids more credit and they will give you more credit. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs>